Oh yeah, that's right. We've got about three quarters on the green toe. And when we took the gumboat off this side, we found that there are no passengers. Frames are loose. So we ordered 3,500 14 by 3 screws and the whole boat's getting refastened. Both of the planking here is off the frame. Caulking is non-existent. Perfect amount of tar. Yeah. One was I doing this one?
a bunch of bombs. I'm gonna take the plug, all right, and it gets some glue on it right yeah. here. Oh, here on the edge. And the green lines up there. It's on the It's just hard to see it, the recording this light, the little red light, because the light is bright. When they drove the new frames in, they knocked this plank out. cedar blocking in the stern. This plank that's missing right here, we took off this morning because it's all buggered up at the aft end. And it was held on by about two and a half nails. It took no effort at all. To do. So this plank here is coming out because it's split and buggered on the end. And we don't want to put another short plank in because it's two short planks underneath it. And then down at this end, right below, we're using four inch screws that go through the planking, through the soft trains, and into the bilge planks, which are solid. Well, that's what's holding it together back there. Okay, we just pulled this up the plank. You can see the frames are in similar condition. Oh, that's nice.
I'm just gonna the first test fit.
<laughs> I'm putting a coat of sealer on this plank so it doesn't check anyway. And become the shutter plank or the whiskey plank. It's starting to twist. The plank is? No, the... Um, or this is. This thing is starting to twist. You need to have a door on. Ooh, ooh, I think that went in. It did. That is the sound of a planking. That's a little better. Yeah, that's straightening it out. <laughs> Except the other wedge took off. Well, that's all right. It's doing the job. Here, this one might be better. You stick another wedge onto the tail of this one. It'll turn the way. Yeah, then I can't fasten it. <laughs> okay, you're knocking the crooked again, so... I don't know if we're going to get any more than that. That's definitely sounding like it. You call it a floating strong back? <laughs> So it looks like a nail head, but that's all there is. And these were just taken out with a little screwdriver. Because the old fastenings are rotted right away, and there's nothing but some old putty between the water and the frames, I dug the putty out and got rid of some of the old the screw holes for the long line gumwood. We're pretty big. So we plugged them all. Pin push on the boat up. I'm recording. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is doing because it just shows in the light. The sun is Tools.
Way to go. We're doing a little creative work with some Gudgeon Brothers epoxy to make a cockable seam in a couple of places on both sides. Other than that, things are good. This being Wednesday or something like that. Thruster. Got a new prop zinc on it. That prop zinc uh, nuts are put on with Loctite. Today is Thursday, the 13th of May. This boat was hauled out on the 15th of March. It's painted ready to go back in tomorrow morning. So here it is.
unfortunately, right up in the bow on the port side. So we got to come out of the water again. Well, you need to press the wings. before we button her up again. It's ready to recock. All right, we're going to refasten this lower bit so everything below the water line is refastened. And over on this side, had all the gum wood off and found this lovely hole of rot right there. So I've torn the inside out and we can slide a block. I finished reefing out this so we can refasten the bow because the paint on this boat, paint on the seams was cracked back to there. And I found no caulking until right when we were coming into over to Nanaimo from Penda. All right, so that's been caulked and refastened. Okay, what there are here is a lot of soft frames, so what I've done is take, I will get around to that, maybe tomorrow or maybe next week. Well, the starboard side is refastened and plugged. That block has a two inch block. That patch has a two inch block in behind it and it's screwed and fastened in. It's solid. Sweetheart. Yeah, just. pretty one. And then, and then I go like this and get down in whilst it's still soft. Okay. So I've got the lower bit down here is already fastened and plugged. And the rest of it, I'm just drilling holes. Tomorrow the screws will go in. James will probably be corking the other side. And then when he gets that done, we'll go over there and pay the seams and he can caulk this side. Seems paid right there. Another couple of tubes and it'll be done. We've got the has the gumwood pretty much cleaned and ready to go back on, so that gets covered. All the gumwood seams have been paid. 
Just move it out. Small pea back down as far as the gum would back there. It's got its second coat of paint and it needs a third. Other than that, it's ready to go. And on the gum wood to go back on tomorrow. Wednesday, 2nd of June. Gum wood's back on and filled. Plugs are sanded. Just waiting for the filler to sand. Come alongside, I mean. Oh yeah, that's right. 